Well, hi, everybody. It's Doug. So uh, today we're entering Chris Capune's Slinky 3. So um, we're supposed to talk about, we can pick a lock, but we're supposed to talk about sort of our, our journey in, uh, in dealing with the community and so on. So first of all, I, I plan to try picking this ADTI 50, sort of also a Chris Capune staple. Uh, as he had done in his entry video. And I'll try to make it uh, reasonably fast while also chatting along. So basically, uh, I'd been looking for a hobby and I was looking for a way to, gosh, hello, there we go. I need to get a little padding down at their bottom there. Um, looking for a way to kill some time and actually explore my, my love for puzzles. So. Uh, I ended up discovering on some weird website uh, the concept of lock picking as a hobby, as a sport. So that led me to, uh, I ended up watching all of Skylar Towns' videos, and he, he is very, very knowledgeable and excellent. From there, I stumbled into Bosnian Bill. Uh, amazingly, I found Bosnian Bill before I found Lock Picking Lawyer. And then I started watching the rest of the community as I, I started stumbling on uh, related, uh, they always recommend uh, related content. And, and somewhere along the way, I also got involved with the Reddit uh, Lock Sport channel. And that kept me pretty energized. But somewhere along the way, I did stumble across Chris Capune, and it was fortunate because it was kind of after I had exhausted my access to padlocks and uh, well, locks of any kind. I had picked everything I could, and other than going out and buying a bunch of locks, I had no idea where to go next. Chris Capune to the rescue. I kind of let him know my situation, and he jumped right in, sent me care package. And uh, that's one of my early, early videos where I open up uh, Chris's care package. And as somebody commented right along the way that you could hear my excitement in opening that package. I had never received one. I didn't think I was ever going to get a package from anybody. Um, I was absolutely and totally blown away, and, and Chris was incredibly generous. Him and I traded a lot back and forth. He helped me in in acquiring a lot of the locks that I've got um, and, and has sent me a lot along the way. Also, um, got friendly with uh, Thumper. I was watching his and his videos, and he made a comment that he uh, really needed an intro like Bosnian Bill has. So I jumped in and made him one, and before you know it, I'm making videos for everybody else, including, of course, the infamous Suki intro uh, logo and intro for Chris's video. So another great, important player in this whole thing is William Mansell. And it's actually, I thought of him mostly because, honestly, Chris, you're showing so many so many knives on your channel these days that I'm afraid you're going to just throw away the locks and turn it into a knife channel like William Mansell did. But uh, I know you love your lock picking way too much to let that happen. But um, simply put, the uh, William Mansell got me really to appreciate older locks, collecting antique locks, which I ended up getting into, uh, and refurbishing them. And he I got a lot of hints from him. The whole community has been incredibly um, helpful. Albert LaBelle. Albert, um, I got one of his locks, I think in the very first package from Chris or another one after that, and picked my way through it after enough time, his challenge locks unbelievable. But um, I actually started watching Al's, Al LaBelle's channel and ended up winning the very first Albert LaBelle branded pack lock, which I have on my shelf proudly displayed. Um, so many people that I am so thankful to. Ow, <laughs> there goes my lock. Um, 
But this community is unbelievable. Uh, jumping in, I remember when Irish Lockpicker uh, was not well, and everybody jumped in, made videos for Irish Lockpicker. This community, you could ask a favor and you would get a hundred back. And that's the amazing thing, how generous and helpful everybody is. There's so much knowledge and so much information out there and so much caring also tied to all of it. Amazing community. Chris, congratulations to you on reaching three years. You deserve a thousand times as many subscribers as you have already. Oh, and before I go, I can't forget to talk about the Chris Capune tensioner. Um, I don't use this all the time because uh, a lot of the time I need a little bit more control than I can get with a loose tensioner in the top. So I actually go for a tight fit. But this one has helped me a lot and I actually carry one in my pocket along with my uh, jackknife pocket lockpick tool. So anyways, Chris, congratulations. This, this is my entry for Slinky 3. And uh, no... Good luck to everybody who's entered, and everybody stay well, stay healthy, stay out of trouble.